good morning everybody. It's another episode of Lisa's Lowdown and today I am giving you my snarky snark on a hot topic affecting people in Miami and beyond and that is how to get over a breakup in 48 hours. I'm gonna hook it up for you. This is a fail-proof way to get yourself moving forward after some dumbass set you back. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need is a notebook. So go to CVS or Staples or rob one from your office supply closet. I don't care, just get a notebook. Okay, what you're gonna do is this. On the first page of the notebook, you are gonna write down your new breakup mantra. And that is, I only give a shit about me. That's right, write that sucker down about 50 times. I only give a shit about me. I only give a shit about me. Me, me, me. And you say it in your head over and over again. I only give a shit about me. Hi, Lisa, how are you today? Great, you know why? Because I only give a shit about me. Da, 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 da. Okay, so once you're done with that, your next step is, now that you've established that you only give a shit about you, you need to handle the social media. That's right, delete him, delete her, whatever you're dealing with, get rid of them. Block, delete, toodaloo. You know why? Because if you only give a shit about you, you don't want to see what they're doing. You don't care. You got too much to do. So, I only give a shit about me. Toodaloo social media block delete. God, I feel peaceful already. Okay, next step. Take your little notebook and write down all the things that irked you about this person. Maybe it's the way they drank. Maybe it's the way they ate. Maybe it's the way they brush their teeth. Maybe it's the TV that they watched. Maybe it's whatever it is, the way they dress, the way they like crack their toes when they took off their shoes. Whatever those little idiosyncrasies are that kind of were like, yeah, you're lucky I'm tolerating this because no ace bueno. Write them down. Write them down. That is going to be your saving grace for the next 30 days. And the good part, you can continue to add to the list. So as they progressively conjure up memories of crap, you write it down on your list, and then you keep moving forward. And number four, fill your calendar with stuff that you forgot to do or put off doing because you were spending so much time with this person. Maybe you neglected to go to the gym. Maybe there's a course you want to take. Maybe there are friends that you haven't seen that you want to catch up with. Now is your time to fill your calendar with those things. And I'm sure there's tons. I mean, for me personally, when I'm all hanging out with a dude, I don't clean, I, like, I neglect my laundry, I have like a pile. Gotta handle it and you feel so good. It's like accomplishment. So handle the things that you neglected while you were with this person. You'll feel amazing. Now, here's the important thing to stick to, and it's very difficult, but you got to try. You have to instill a no communication policy for one month. That's right. Look at your calendar from the date of the last conversation. No further conversations for one month. If he texts you, you text back. I'm sorry, I'm not to talk to you for a whole month. Give him the date on October the 14th. We can talk, but until then, please respect my privacy. Done! And do not respond. That's it. You, why? Wait, I'm sorry, why? Because you only give a shit about you. You got some healing to do. So, stick to that mantra. Then what I need you to do is, and this is the big one, because this is something that you should be doing every day regardless. What you should be doing is, writing your goals down and revisit them. So see, you get all caught up in this dude or this girl and you're all in the moment, I love you, you're the best, oh my God, you're awesome. But you forget about your goals, you forget about the life you want, you forget about all the things that matter. So now that this person is out, you can revisit all the things you want to do in the next week, in the next month, in the next six months, and assess that and then Go back to the sheet of paper where you wrote down all the crap you hate about them and ask yourself, look at my future. Look at this page of goals. Do I really want this person joining me for this ride? Probably not. That's how you get over somebody. Keep those notebooks handy. 
write down your thoughts, get them out on paper. Don't clutter your friends with your bullshit because you know what? They don't want to hear it. Have a great day. Be strong. Get over that breakup. If you need additional help or, you know, talked out of the ledge or put the gun down, give me a call or actually hook it up on email. Lisa, the marketing chick at gmail.com. Bye.